before that we have set down the what is the provision of 42 43 etc the proviso to 43 1 empowers the commission to extend the date for completion of any election by issuing a notification for sufficient reasons the extension of the date for completion of any election may or may not require alteration of date or dates for holding election fixed by the state government under 42. In the event, the commission is of the opinion that there is sufficient and just reasons for which the elections cannot be held on the date fixed in the notification issued by the state government under 42, then the commission has to take recourse to the provisions laid, laid under, under subsection 2 of section 43. That is a reference to be made to the state government in that regard. And if the state government, upon being satisfied with the reasons shown by the commission, revokes the earlier notification, the commission shall consequently revoke the notification issued under 43.1. This court is therefore of the considered view that the alteration of the date fixed for election cannot be done by the commission in excess of powers under proviso to subsection 1 of section 43. That's our conclusion. If, however, however, if the commission for sufficient reason considers to extend the date of completion of any election without interfering with the date fixed for holding the election under 42, such power of extension of various stages of election other than interfering with the date of election can be exercised by the commission under the said provision. Therefore, we have held in, in the light of the said uh, interpretation, mandamus directing to extend the time for filing of nominations cannot be considered. Then the next issue is, and we have dealt with you, please go through it later. My Lord. Um, and and one more thing, we have also taken note of their submission by one day, etc. Um, and we have held the discretion to extend the time either under the proviso to section 46.2 lies entirely with the commission and the commission being an expert and independent body is competent to take a decision in that regard. This court therefore leaves such matter to the discretion of the commission. Then the next one is regarding appointment of observers. Uh, with regard to that, uh, we took note of the report, then the stipulation under section 1, 134, uh, uh, section 134, subsection 1 of the 2003 Act, and held thus the statutory provisions clearly provide for nominating an observer by the commission who shall be an officer of the state government to watch the conduct of the state of the election. The State Election Commission in its report has stated the Commission appoints observers from the cadre of senior officers of West Bengal Civil Services and IAS cadre. In our opinion, the exercise to be done by the State Commission being in accordance with the statutory provision, the court will not be justified to inter in interdicting the same as senior officers of West Bengal Civil Services as well as officers in the IAS cadre are bound to act in due diligence bearing the mind and the purpose for which they have been nominated as observers. As held by Honorable Supreme Court, the jurisdiction of the High Court under Article 226 to entertain a repetition challenging election is not completely barred and the High Court can interfere. Uh, uh, the bar under two, Article 243 um, OB of the Constitution, the jurisdiction of the High Court is not absolute. And in such cases where there is gross violation of fundamental principles to an election process under the scheme of the Constitution, the High Court would be competent to exercise jurisdiction under Article 226 of the Constitution and pass direction to enable fair elections. We have referred to the decision 1999 for ACC. Thus, for this court to issue direction contrary to the statute, and in particular to particular section 134 of the 2003 Act, would be a step amounting to calling in question an election, which has been specifically barred by the various decisions of the Honorable Supreme Court. Corrections. It has been further held. We return. I mean, Ponusami case we referred. It has been further held the mandate of election commission is to have free and fair election, maintaining its purity, 
subject to satisfaction arrived at by the election commission on the basis of expert opinion cannot in a routine manner be interfered by courts therefore we are the view that appointment of observers from senior officers of west bengal civil services executives iaas is in consonance to 134 and the same would be sufficient safeguard to achieve the object for having free and fair election maintaining its purity therefore we see no reason to accede to the prayer sought for in the requisition to appoint a retired judge of this court as a, as observer for the ensuing election the next issue is with regard to the prayer for filing online uh, nominations this we have taken note of uh, the earlier decision and uh, of the supreme court therefore by applying the ratio decided by the honorable supreme court in the aforesaid report this court is of the considered view that a writ of mandamus cannot be issued to direct directing the commission to accept nominations in the electronic form the next issue is with regard to deployment of central paramilitary forces it has been stated by the state election commission that meeting on assessment of deployment of forces was taken by the commission on 9623 with the chief secretary of the state and the director general of police and an assessment plan by the state will be submitted in due course which will be reviewed by the commission for taking appropriate decision the petitioner's contention is that to instill confidence in the electorate to ensure that fair and transparent election without i uh, any violence takes place ah sorry before violence takes place can be achieved only by deployment of central paramilitary forces the petitioner in wpa 287 of 23 would state that prior to the election of uh, kolkata to the kolkata municipal corporation during 2021 and municipal election conducted in 2020 the state had witnessed large scale violence which has resulted in various deaths as well in this regard the petitioners relied upon the various press reports which were reported in leading dailies during february 2022 highlighting the violence which has occurred during the said elections it is pointed out that state election commission during the elections for kolkata municipal corporation declared 1339 polling centers to be sensitive out of the total total polling centers of 4949 reference was also made to the judgment of the five judge bench of this court in wp number so and so which dealt with the post poll violence after the assembly election in the state in the year 2021 after taking note of all the above facts and circumstances the larger bench referred the matter to cbi for investigation wherever allegations are about murder of a person and crime against women and various directions were issued the petitioner has also referred to various orders passed by the this court from august 2022 till may 2023 where the court had directed the central agencies to investigate into the acts of criminal violence explosions bomb blasts and violence during festival seasons during religious festivals and as such 10 such orders were referred to the decision of the division bench in wpa 272 of 2021 was also referred to which concerned the municipal elections wherein the court observed the election commission is vested with the responsibilities to ensure free and fair fearless election to assess the ground situation take a decision in the manner etc etc in the light of the same it was observed the election commission along with the state authorities is required to be apprised of the ground situation prevailing in bidan nagar uh, that issue we have referred my god then we have said this court also had an occasion to consider the situation which had arisen during hanuman the hanuman jayanti festival and after assigning reasons directions were issued to requisition the assistance of the paramilitary forces which order and direction was complied with, with by the state uh-huh. it is not in dispute that a preliminary assessment has already been made by the state election commission and several districts have been earmarked as sensitive districts it has been widely reported in the press that there have been several instances where prospective candidates complained about non availability of nomination papers 
which resulted in violence being precipitated and such other incident. Considering the fact that the total number of seats for which the election has to be conducted is more than 7,500 and going by the past incidents, wherein more on more than 12 occasions, the court had to intervene for the directing deployment of central forces or transferring the case to the National Investigation Agency, we are of the view that the State Election Commission should and shall requisition the deployment of central forces to work in tandem with the police force of the state of West Bengal to ensure free and fair elections. It is stated in the report that the assessment plan submitted by the state will be reviewed by the Election Commission to take appropriate decision. The ultimate decision should lie with the State Election Commission, more particularly when it has been the consistent submission of the petitioner that there is inadequacy for in police force yes. to be deployed throughout the state so as to cover all polling stations, especially when the number of seats for which elections are to be held are more than 75,000. Therefore, the State Election Commission shall forthwith requisition of deployment of the central forces at the first, first instance for all the areas and districts which in the opinion of the State Election Commission have been declared as sensitive. Thereafter, the State Election Commission shall review the assessment plan submitted by the state and wherever there is inadequacy of state police force in all such areas, the State Election Commission shall requisition the deployment of paramilitary forces. This requisition shall be done forthwith by the State Election Commission and on receipt of the same, the appropriate authority of the central government shall deploy the required strength without loss of time. Considering the facts and circumstances, we are of the view that the charges towards such deployment shall be borne by the central government and no part of it shall be charged to the state of West Bengal. Grateful. 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 Then we have done... Not only uh, one thing then, with regard to this, your Lordship has recorded municipal election... I, we have not completed. We have not completed I'll reading the judgment I'll or we'll say disposed of. If you want to, you... No, 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 that. I was just pointing a lot correction. I'll point... I am... You wait for some time. Can you not wait? Sorry, I'm sorry. No, I'm taking a note. We have been doing this from 9.30 in the morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'll... I'll There's a decorum to be observed, I'm, uh, I'm Mr. Counsel. Sorry. I'm extremely sorry. Next issue is with regard to installation of CCTV cameras. After taking note of the report, saying that it is not feasible, we have said, therefore, a workable solution has to be worked out so that no polling station escape from surveillance of the State Election Commission. Therefore, we direct the State Election Commission to install CCTV cameras in all polling stations and only such of those polling stations where it is where where it is Technically not feasible to install CCTV cameras in those stations alone, the entire process commencing from the filing of nomination papers till declaration of the results have to be videographed. In case the State Election Commission is to requisition CCTV facility installed by the police department, then the police department should share the link with the Election Commission so that the video footage which have been recorded and live streamed can be viewed by the State Election Commission and such recording be saved in the data files for future reference. Then ultimately we said, while the steps taken by the Commission is appreciated, it should be ensured that the video footage uh, have to be preserved and shall remain in the custody of the Commission. And in the event of any eventuality, the footage has to be viewed by any authority shall be made available to the appropriate authority in the event of such requirement. That uh, simultaneous counting we have approved. Then regarding filing of nominations before the uh, district magistrate, we held that it is that prayer is contrary to section 44, 46, 1, etc. can't be exceeded. Then the next one is regarding deployment of these contractual workers. Uh, we refer to all the submissions of the interveners of Mr. Sanyal, etc. And uh, then refer to the handbook of uh, pro, for the returning officers uh, published by the state and uh, the 94 Act, 2003 Act. 
in view of the provisions laid down under the 1994 act read with the 2003 act the appointment of presenting officer and polling officers this court is of the considered view the persons who do not suffer any disqualification for appointment as presenting presiding officers and polling officers as specifically provided under the 6th of the 94 act read with section 28 can, can be appointed as presiding officers and polling officers then we said this court directs the commission to keep in mind the provisions laid down under the 1994 and 2003 act for as well as the stand taken by the commission as indicated in its report filed in court then uh, with regard to deployment of contractual employees and ncc boys the handbook states that they will be deployed as a last resort however the handbook further states that the fourth polling officer may be drafted from group d officers thus it goes without saying that if contractual employees and ncc boys are to be deployed deployed they are to be deployed to undertake a work lower than the work assigned to the fourth polling officer and not assigned any duties above the fourth polling officer by uh, then mr sanyal referred to section 9 etc uh, uh sorry section 7 section 7 and we have referred to that state bank of india case etc with regard to engagement of civic volunteers in election work it would be relevant to take note of the circular issued in memo number so and so the igp dated 243 uh, 2023 wherein the duties that may be entrusted to civic volunteers has been specifically laid down in the circular then we have quoted the relevant portion in view of the circular being issued by the competent authority of the west bengal police directorate this court directs the commission not to entrust to a civic volunteer any duties dehors the said circular in uh, a circular full stop in case uh, sorry in case the commission decides to engage civil volunteers for discharging any of the duties with regard to conduct of the panchayat election the next aspect of the intervener was this protection of the polling officers then we referred to this rajkumar ray teacher uttar dinajpur etc then the association represented by the secretary how the inadequacy etc then about uh, Uh, how many instances of death which uh, are reported in general election 2019 assembly election 2021 15000 cases of post poll violence after the west bengal municipal election etc it is stated that the association is a registered body under the west bengal society's registration act and it is a united forum of teachers and teaching staff and they have come forward conveying their grievances and demanding adequate security etc therefore we are the view direction will be at, um, uh, Ah, sir. We have directed requisition of paramilitary force, and on an appraisal being done respect of other areas where violence is anticipated, directions have been issued to the commission to requisition the required paramilitary forces, and coupled to the direction to provide the same at the cost of the central government. Therefore, we are of the view that said direction will adequately protect the interests of the polling officers and polling personnel. It goes without saying that the state election commission should undertake all steps to ensure. that safety and security of the polling officers and polling personnel all preventive measures shall be taken by the commission and standard operative procedure can be devised to be implemented in all polling stations throughout the state in the event if it if in a particular police station central force has not been deployed then it shall be the responsibility of the state police to ensure the safety and security of the polling officers and polling persons at such polling station therefore there will be a direction to the commission to ensure the safety and security of the lives of the polling of personnel and polling officers and the event of any complaint being brought to the notice of the commission swift swift action should be taken and the persons who are indulging in violence should be severely dealt with this direction be complied with in its letter and spirit without any giving any room for laxity with the above directions the red petition